The Gospel of Matthew says, Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Christmas decorations are going up early this year. All around our neighborhoods, houses, trees, and bushes are wrapped in strands of twinkling red and green and white. In the darkness of a pandemic, we all need some extra light. Years ago, I had similar feelings. It was late November, and for me, it was also a dark time. My husband Bob was in the hospital at the end of a long battle with cancer. In just a few days, he would be coming home. After discussing discharge plans, a social worker looked at me. If you have Christmas presents you want to give to Bob, don't wait, she said. You don't have a lot of time. That night, I went out and bought a Christmas tree. Bob loved Christmas. I set the tree up in the corner of our bedroom, where Bob could see it from his hospital bed. Each evening, the room filled with the soft white glow of Christmas tree lights. As Bob and I waited in the half light, between darkness and light, death and life. Sometimes we talked, Often we simply sat together in peaceful silence, knowing our words had been spent and were no longer necessary. Night after night, week after week, we waited for release, for liberation. It was an incredibly sad time, but beneath our deep sorrow was something deeper it was hope, the sure and certain hope that by the grace of Christ, death was not the end, but the door to a new beginning. Bob and I had no gifts for each other that Christmas. Frankly, anything that could be wrapped seemed really unimportant. But we were sustained by the greatest gift of all, the assurance that in life, in death, in life beyond death, Christ is with us. Paul assures us, neither death nor life, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is the gift of Emmanuel. That is the hope that Christ brings. May the light of Christ's grace shine brightly in these dark days, and may your Advent be filled with Christ's hope. For you, my God, I wish with hope born of the world like sleepless ones who long to dream i wait and call my lord for even from the deep i know I ease my weary eyes. Oh God, you are my hope. I know that you forgive. Your love redeems me from the depths. So I 